Many cities in Europe were founded by the Vikings and are still thriving 1,000 years later. The evidence may be subtle, but there is no doubt at all that they certainly left their mark. Here is a list of cities originally founded by the Vikings. Number 1. York, England Once the Roman legionary fortress of Eberacum and then the Anglo-Saxon trading port of Etherwich, the then capital of the English kingdom of Northumbria. Captured in the year 866, supposedly by the famous Viking Ivor the Boneless and the Great Heathen Army. Known as Jorvik during its time under Danish rule, it was later changed to York, which is the English translation. Conveniently situated, being the capital of Northumbria on the banks of the River Uza and not far from the coast. Number 2. Kiev, Ukraine Gets its name from Kievan Rus, meaning Land of the Rus, which was once the name of large swathes of lands in Eastern Europe combined within the same huge kingdom. The Rus people were said to have originated from Sweden, although over time they mated with the native population, making them a mixture of Slavs and Scandinavians. A Viking called Rurik was the first ruler of the city of Kiev, as well as the lands within the kingdom of Kievan Rus. Strangely though, Rurik didn't conquer it by force. The natives actually invited him to rule over them. Rurik and his brothers became the first of the Varangians. After Rurik's death, he bequeathed his kingdom to his kinsman, Prince Oleg, who was acting as regent for Rurik's young son, Igor. Around 882, Oleg led a military force south along the Dnieper River, capturing several other cities before reaching what is now known as Kiev. He declared it the mother of all cities. Kiev was perfectly located as a trading station, which probably explains why the Rus, descendants of Vikings, valued it so highly. Number 3. Novgorod, Russia Lies in a strategic position alongside the Volkov River. Was already a major trading station along the Baltic to Byzantium trade route, but was first recorded by the Rus people in 859. Varangian records often mentioned an important place called Holmgard. This was a stronghold reportedly founded long before Novgorod, but it lies just 1.2 miles south of the current city centre. Holmgard, now known as Rurikovo Gorodice, was the capital chosen by the aforementioned Rurik in 860. The name Novgorod could mean new city in the old Slavic language. However, it is equally plausible that it comes from the old Norse term Nigader or Naugard in High German. The first mention of Nordic or Germanic etymology to the name Novgorod and other cities within the territory then known as Kievan Rus occurs in the 10th century document De Administrando Imperio by the Byzantine Emperor Constantine. It was mentioned in the Norse sagas as the capital of Gadariki, the old Norse term for the territories within Kievan Rus. Number 4. Dublin, Ireland Vikings ruled Dublin for almost three centuries until they were defeated by the Irish High King Brian Boru in the Battle of Clontarf in 1014. Two Viking settlements have been unearthed in the city, one at Wood Quay and another at Christchurch Cathedral, which was originally a Celtic Christian church. The Viking Age in Ireland began in the year 795 when Scandinavian warriors began attacking coastal Gaelic settlements in the region. The Vikings seized Dublin for themselves in 841, after years of raids and battles with the natives. Many skeletons and other archaeological finds have been unearthed in and around Dublin, and there is even a pub, the Brazen Head, which still exists, where Viking merchants gathered. There are many other towns and cities influenced by and founded by the Vikings, but those that I've just mentioned were among those most shaped by the Norse warriors. Do you live in a town or city with links to the Vikings? If so, feel free to educate me a little in the comments.